What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Straight Edge Show. Back to review Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, like I always do. Yes, yeah, start off with the story, folks. We start off with the Spangler's family. We turn into the iconic New York City firehouse where they meet up with the original Ghostbusters and they discover a new threat that's on a next level and a force of evil has came over New York City. And now the Ghostbusters, old and new, to need to work together to save their home and New York City from a ice age. That's all I'm going to tell you about the story. So you just talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes, go! First thing I want to say, I'm not a huge Ghostbusters fan. I like the movies. I like the first one and the second one. And, but I really enjoyed Afterlife. And I, and I was surprised how much I did. So when I, when the sequel was coming, I was kind of excited. But then the trailer came, I was like, okay, that looked all right. And I was not excited to see this movie. And when I left the theater, I said, that was a solid. I had, it was enjoyable for the most part. But definitely, this is the weakest of the Ghostbusters. I would say this is the, 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 the worst of the four Ghostbusters movie. I know somebody will say, it's five <laughs> Ghostbusters movie. But no, we don't count that one came out in 2016. No, we don't leave that. Alone. We only count Ghostbusters 1, Ghostbusters 2, Afterlife, and this one. And this one, I, out of the four, it is the weakest. But it's way better than 2016. My biggest problem with it, I really didn't really care for the story as much. And I thought the first two acts was kind of very boring. Nothing's really happening. Characters not really doing too much stuff is really interesting. I'm not invested in the story, even though I like these characters. And that's why I still somewhat enjoyed it, because even though the story really doesn't grab me, but if I really like characters, it can keep me interested in a story that I really don't care for. And it, it has too much, too many characters in this movie. So many characters in this movie, and a lot of them you could have took out. And the movie would have been the same, which I was surprised. I know you want to bring back some of the new characters you introduced in the last one, like Podcast Guy. I really liked him in the last one. This one, you could have took them out and you we would got the same movie. Um, Finn Wolfhard's love interest was in the uh, last one. She's in this one. I forgot her character. That's how much I didn't care for in that one. And she really don't do too much in this one. Bill Murray, he's in there for fan service, a uh, cameo, which he's good. I like seeing Bill Murray, but he's in there for cameo. And it's so much exposition, so much explaining in this movie. You have to do, you have to induce these new characters, and they have to explain, give all this bad story to the main villain, and this uh, uh, this bit ball object. That I'm not going to give too much for that. The MacGuffin of the story. I'm just going to say that. Too much. And really don't start really picking up until the third act. And that's when I really enjoyed myself. And that's the biggest problem I had with the movie. The story was not engaging enough. It had too much exposition. Characters are doing stuff that is not too entertaining. Uh, that's the biggest problem I have. You thought about the stuff I did like. Seeing the original Ghostbusters and seeing them have more screen time in this movie. Especially Dan Aykroyd. I really enjoyed him. He gets a lot of more time in this movie. And seeing him and Lieutenant Grace investigate them parts I really enjoyed. Just talked about one of my favorite new characters from last one was Matina Grace. 
I still enjoy her. She still does a very good performance. But one thing I did not like about her character, she makes some dumb decisions that I don't agree with. And how intelligent she is, how smart this character is, it seemed like she would know better than to do some things she does in this movie. But that's one gripe I have with the character. But overall, still enjoyed her. And she does another great performance. Now, my final thoughts. It has a lot of fan service, a lot of nostalgia in there, which I'm fine with. Don't have no problems with that at all. But the big problem I had, the story, a lot of exposition. Characters really don't do too much interesting until we get to the third act. That's when I really enjoyed myself. But overall, this movie is okay. So I give Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, a 6 out of a 10. If you like this review, comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next Straight Edge review. Peace.